Good morning, friends. Today I wanted to bring you a deck that I've had for quite some time. I believe I have the second edition. I'm not entirely positive. Could be the third. But I've had it for several years, at least six or seven years. This is the Victorian Romantic Tarot. And the reason I'm showing it to you now, I didn't want to show it to you before now, is because it was not available. It was an out-of-print deck. But Baba Studios has come up with a new fourth edition. I've seen a walkthrough of the cards on another channel, and they look really uh, shiny. They have their cold stamp printed, however you call that, where the cards have a real, um, without being golden, but they have a real goldy gloss to them. So this, so I, I decided I'd go ahead and just show you my deck because the cards are basically the same. It's just the the printing quality that differs. So at the time I bought this, I also purchased the uh, book that goes with talks about the conception of the deck and it's got a little bit about tarot in general short history learning the tarot styles and spreads uh, the little bit about the cards what I do like about this uh, book on oh, the suits are wands cups swords and pentacles so very traditional it's a Rider Waite Smith based deck so very easy to uh, easy to read if you're used to Rider Waite Smith which we all are so we do have um, black and white images of the cards so that you can read and learn without having to refer back to the cards. So that's a really nice feature of the book. And I love the quality of these pages. They're just silky. It's a very nicely produced book. So I'm going to take you through the cards so you can see them. As I said, the new fourth edition, I believe the images are pretty much similar to this. No, I don't know if the new edition comes in a clamshell box like this. This is copyright 2012. Karen Mahoney and Alex Yukolov. I hope I'm saying his name correctly. And the card backs on this edition, I think, are just beautiful. So Baba Studios, um, they produce quite a few lovely decks. Terror of Prague is one that I'd like to eventually get. So Baba Studios also has um, Tarot of Prague, Baroque, Bohemian Cats, Bohemian Gothic, and I have recently obtained the um, Fantastic Menagerie Tarot, which I've done a walkthrough. I'll uh, put the link up here above so that you can see that after this walkthrough if you'd like to look at that one. So we also do get a little white book. This does not come with, you have to order this separately, but if you don't want to order the book in addition. You do get a little white book and just your basic information in here. I kind of enjoy the big books that have the uh, extra information. This has a lot of information about Victorian life in it, which is kind of fun. So the card backs, as I said to this edition, are beautiful. That blue and gold is just lovely. Kind of reminds me of the Ukrainian flag. And the card quality is lovely as well. It's very flexible, yet very strong. Not too thick. This particular edition has gold gilding. I don't know if the new edition does. But I just wanted to show you, since the cards are pretty much the same in the new edition, just wanted to go through this to let you have a look and decide if you be, might be interested in ordering it. So here we have the title card. Oh gosh, I think I have, there's an extra lover's card. So this is the extra card that I had set aside because I didn't want to have two lover's cards in there. So this is lovely. Now you can see there's a little, it's, it's more matte and it doesn't have any kind of a, a glisteny sheen like the newer fourth edition does. Here's the fool. We're going to just run through quickly. The Magician. I think the Magician is different in the new deck. I prefer this one. I love that Magician. And I love this High Priestess. Looks like the Oracle of Delphi. I also ordered from Baba Studios a, uh, a bag with this particular uh, image printed on it. So I ha do have the bag. I don't know where I put it. <laughs> The Empress is lovely. That card is the same. 
the Emperor. Got that alchemical feel here. Here's the lovers, other lovers card. So you have your pick of using either one. The chariot. And if somebody's got the fourth edition, just put the comments below if you want to let me know the cards that are different in the new edition. I believe this one is the same. Strength. The Hermit. Gosh, I love him. We've got the Father Time, sort of an ideal. The way the Hermit card used to be portrayed always as Father Time. And now it's mostly portrayed as just the man with the lamp. The scythe adds to that Father Time sort of a feel. The Wheel of Fortune. So you may be a peasant peddling your birds and you may end up with the crown offered to you. I like the feel of that. Justice. The images they chose are just gorgeous. Hanged man. So far I think all these that I've showed you are the same. I'm, there may be a different magician now. I'm not 100% sure. Here is death. You'll have to forgive my voice. I have a little bit of a cold today and I'm sort of froggy. Temperance. I love this devil card, even down to the pained look on her face. Good times, crazy. Here's the tower. A shipwreck. That card is the same in the new deck. The star. The moon. The sun. These cards are just absolutely gorgeous. As I said, the only reason I haven't showed it to you before this is because it was not readily available and I didn't want people to, you know, be upset that I'm showing you something that you can't even buy. But now it's available. Judgment. And the world. Ace of Swords. I love this. We've got a sword and a bird and a winged lady there. Two of Swords. The same feel as the Rider Waite, but she does not have the crossed swords in her hands. Three of Swords, portrayed as heartbreak. And this is a little bit more imaginative than three swords stuck through a heart. So yay. Four of Swords. The Calm Before the Storm. This is pretty cute. Five of Swords. The Six. Pretty similar to Rider weight. Seven is also a similar image. Stealthiness. Planning. Treachery. Deception. Eight of Swords. So she's bound, but it doesn't look like she's in a bad place. I like that card too. That's probably one of my all-time favorite Eight of Swords. Nine of Swords. Yep, you're really having a nightmare when you think you're out on the ledge. Or perhaps she's sleepwalking and really is out on the ledge and it's not just a nightmare. Ten of Swords. Page of Swords. Very handsome dude there. Knight of Swords. That's a really cool, cool image. The Queen of Swords. I love her. 
And the King of Swords. Not too fond of him, but got that strange look on his face. Alrighty, then we have the Ace of Wands. This is a beautiful, beautiful card. Look at that. With the torch. Two of Wands. Got the two trees behind her. Three of Wands. Very cool. Four of Wands. Here is the five. The triumphant six. This is so cool too. Look at the seven of wands here. Awesome. I like this eight of wands too. This is really nice. You get a sense of that swiftness in the hunt, running. The Nine of Wands, he's guarding. Standing watch. And the Ten of Wands. Oh, the burdens of motherhood. Page of Wands, the night is absolutely lovely, Queen of Wands, her umbrella is her wand, and the King of Wands. Moving, moving on to the suit of pentacles, the ace of pentacles. Isn't that a dear card? This sort of matches the back of the cards, I think. Kind of a similar motif. Two of pentacles. Three of pentacles. or something being made out of a tree, toys being made for the kids there by the craftsman. Four of Pentacles. Sitting on that well. Five of Pentacles. That's a lovely, lovely Five of Pentacles. That's one of my favorite. Six of Pentacles. Here we have the Seven. Ending her garden. Eight of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. And the Ten of Pentacles. The Page. I really like this image. To me, he looks like a student or a learner. And to me, that's what the Page of Pentacles is about. Oops, we're getting a little glare from the sun here. Move my shade there, that's a little better. Knight of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles. I love her. And the King of Pentacles. The Ace of Cups is just lovely. Two of Cups. Three of Cups. The Four of Cups. That's just perfect. He's just so blasé about the whole 
accolades and party he's receiving there. The Five of Cups. Six of Cups. Very sweet. Seven of Cups. We're fishing for all kinds of different things here. When will we ever be satisfied? Eight of Cups. Nine of Cups. Isn't that a rich card? Look at the colors. Love it. The Ten of Cups. Page of Cups. I love her, or him. I think it's more a feminine face, but it could be a gentleman. Knight of Cups. The Queen of Cups. Absolutely stunning. And the King of Cups. So there you have it. I just wanted you to get a chance to look at the cards and see what you think. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe to my channel, and we will see you again next time. Bye-bye.